What is up, everybody? Tars22 here. Today I am gonna read. I'm gonna do the floor up because I don't like all the sinking down and stuff that slows me down when I'm running around the room. So I'm also half tempted to not. And again, this may just be a temporary floor thing. Because I don't have uh, a lot of different types of wood. I only have mangrove really right now. Which will be changed, hopefully. I do plan on going on a few adventures to get more wood, to get more resources and stuff, but I have to. Set up my home base first. God damn it. volume up to about 14%, weather off, actually, options, music and sounds, why not turn on directional audio, put up a little change in the video, you know, if you're wearing headphones, that is. Okay, you... And as I said before in the last episode, I liked, I really did like the look of the uh, bamboo in the storage room, so I'm gonna find a jungle. Also, my, uh, one of my moderators, a hopefully trustworthy one this time, is, uh, is playing this world as well, but in on their PC, and they found quite a few cool things that they sent me the coordinates to. Didn't tell me what they were, but just said, hey, go here with lots of tools, lots of XYZ, ABC, so I'm like, okay. I'll check them out. I did not travel for Labor Day because I have a family member at my 
homes of residents that uh, requires a lot of care and attention at the moment. So I was unfortunately not able to transfer transfer travel for Labor Day. Sorry, my wife is next to me now. <laughs> that was her little giggle. Sorry. I'm curious, did you get to have any fun on Labor Day? Did you get to travel? I would love to hear from you, or <laughs> read. <laughs> actually be his father-in-law, my dad, and um, the reason why we stayed in is because of his health issues, so uh, we can't normally afford to go anywhere anyway, so um, <laughs> traveling is just, we don't have a means of income for that. <laughs> We're hoping sometime next year, 2024, we'll finally go on our honeymoon. It's a bit ironic seeing how we've almost, we've been married for almost two years completely, and <laughs> we'll be going on our honeymoon. I, I feel like you'd be a much better streamer than I am. Who? You. How so? I don't think Cause so. Because you talk more. No, oh. Not in a bad no, way. No, no, but just... to interact with them? Yeah. Fair. <coughs> I like watching this. This is so cool. I'm going to actually put the mangrove in the corner. I forgot they added those. So what... I know it's not... It is based on real life and, like, sciences and oh, whatever, that's but... that's actually a good idea. Is it... Because it is mangrove, is it so toxic to characters? No. Okay. You cannot consume any of the... Mangroves? All you can do is place it, build with it, stuff like that. Okay. Sorry, my for those watching on stream or on the YouTube video because it is being recorded for YouTube. My wife hasn't played Minecraft, and I'm <laughs> trying to teach her how to play. So <laughs> we just know that mangroves in real life are very dangerous. Um, even touching the bark is um, it's bad for you because your body can absorb the toxins. I believe I could be wrong. But so I was just asking because I know Minecraft is based on real life, and so I was curious if this affects the characters like the way it would affect living people. Okay, I am actually going. You okay there, Park? Oh, that's so cool. Ah. Okay, that that sounds completely reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> like we said, we're broke too, so we get that. But that is so cool. I am um, going to Google it. I feel like it sounds like it's in Yosemite. It's in California? Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Is it really based off Yogi? Like the the cartoon character? That is so cool. Wow. Did you guys get to do anything fun? Like, um, water Actually, slides? It looks like, oh, I'm sorry, because I've never heard of Yogi Bear. I googled well, it. Well, you've heard of Yogi Bear, you just haven't heard of Yogi Park. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, it looks like part of the campgrounds are, like, water slides. Did you guys get to do anything like that? I have dirt. Kind of reminds me of like, um, Wallacator? I think. I could be wrong. See, I'm sorry. I, I grew up on like Boomerang and Cartoon Network. Those were my main things. Other kids would like watch what, like Disney and Nickelodeon. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really watch Nickelodeon until maybe my later teen years. That's so weird. But. 
um, yeah, so I, I became a SpongeBob fan probably when I turned 16 or 17. Oh, you're in Michigan. Oh, that's so funny. My husband, um, do you go by Tars or Jake on here? Can I use your I, name? I, Vincent calls me Jake in comments, so okay. people know my real name. Jake's family does have a small history of being from Michigan, but uh, my family has, like, I don't know. Dude, my family are Finnish, so um, a l we have a lot of youpers. Or had, I should say. Um, my mom's some of the last of their generation that grew up in Michigan. Okay, I'm going to wait so, all night to see where else I need to go. This is, this is looking cool. Sorry, whatever it is you're doing, it looks amazing. Um, but, sorry, I, I'm sorry I got sidetracked. My mom's family, most of them are from the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. So we know a bit about Uber, um culture. Not Not enough, but can never get enough of it. My favorite thing is we like to go um, up to the Upper Peninsula, and I think there's one called, like, the Taste of Finland, or, like, um, the, is it called the UP store? The Upper Peninsula store? Oh, my goodness. That's, like, our favorite tourist spot. Oh, bummer. I'm so sorry. Uh, that sucks that the slides were closed. What's the point in, well, hey, I don't mean to criticize, but, like, what's the point in the park if you can't have fun, you know? I totally get you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I get that. Hopefully there's better luck next time, you know? Fingers crossed that I hope, I'm hoping for you. For me, it was when, um, Liberty Park shut down for a while. Oh, goodness, yeah. I'm sorry, uh, I know, I don't know if we've told you... UP is definitely awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking to myself, trying to decide which direction to orient stuff. So. Oh, you're fine. Um, when he said Liberty Park, that that's a little play. Well, I wouldn't say little. For us, it's kind of big in Utah. It doesn't have um. I I don't know what to call it. It doesn't have a lot of tourist positions or or sites sites to see. It's just like a park, like a children's park, but it's bigger. So adults can interact on it too. But um, some of it is still like weight rated and stuff like that. So unfortunately, I don't know if you've probably never seen us in real life, but Jake and I are a little bit on the heavier side. I so am going to be doing a uh, live stream shortly, hopefully, where we do a taste test. There. So you will see both of us. You you will get to see what we look like, but uh, um, Liberty Park is fun, but it's it's more like for thinner people kind of fun. <laughs> it's uh, so when Jake said Liberty Park shut down, I could imagine that that must have been a pretty boring day because um, my favorite things to do at Liberty Park are they have these cool like in ground okay. wood instruments so and like pipes, and you can play them like you're playing the marimba. And um, the xylophone and a couple cool things like that. So that was my childhood growing up. Is like I've I've never really been to Liberty Park until I was probably like 12 or 14. And we used to visit it a lot more often when I was a kid. But then we just suddenly suddenly stopped. I don't know. <laughs> have you ever? I'm just curious. I'm sorry. This sounds weird. But have you been to Presque Isle? You went to Mackinac Island? No way. Oh, you're kidding. How how was that? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for freaking out a little. That sounds gorgeous. You're so lucky. Did you guys get to do anything fun? Like, um Oh, you've never been to Presk? Oh man. I'm sorry. You should totally go to Presk and 
I'm sorry if you're afraid of heights. I'm a little afraid, but if you ever work up the courage to go cliff diving, you have got to let me know. I wanted to, but I wasn't wearing, like, a wetsuit, so I couldn't just jump in the water. I think my family would have killed me if my clothes got wet and I had to ride back home in my aunt's car. So, <laughs> so I didn't get to go. But um, we were there with some family. Again, like I said, my aunt would have been probably my ride home. Um, we were spending the... I don't know, I think it was like two weeks with them. I don't know, I don't think I'd met you. You've never met yet. my family, yeah. Yeah, you didn't know me <laughs> yet. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but there was this really cute couple that was like in their 20s. I was I was like 16 at the time, I think, 16, 17. And they asked me to take photos on their phone, and it was the first time I've operated an iPhone. And I guess there's like a really cool shutter feature if you like hold down the... Um, I don't know what they call it, but like the snapping feature for the lens, you hold it down and the shutter closes a lot automatically, and so they have like constant moving photos, rather than taking a video, and you get to watch them jump off the cliff into Presque Isle into the waters, and just holy smokes, it was beautiful, and it was cool, and just, oh my goodness. <laughs> It's it's a goal of mine. If we ever go back to Michigan, I definitely want to go to Presque. But holy smokes, Mackinac has got to be amazing. <laughs> I don't mean to keep placing torches down, but uh, my bad. Is there a way to like switch out materials? Yeah, that's what I'm doing when I. Oh, okay, that's so cool. I just have to put torches down underneath so mobs. Do they light up? Here. Oh, moss. Mobs. Mobs. Okay, sorry. Like danger boys. <laughs> like like the creepers or the is it the zombies? Zombies, skeletons, Enderman. I guess. Yeah, Enderman because it's a thirty box tall, so they can't spawn in here. Oh, that's cool. I need a dirt there so I can. What about your torch? I need a door dirt there. It's lit up enough, but the torch is there and the see, but this corner is too dark. I would need a torch. That's so cool. I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. I hope I hope Mackinac's the right way you say it. I'm so sorry. <coughs> I hope that's the right way to put it. No, it's not. Okay, it's an easy fix. See, most of my family are from the Midwest, and, um, like, like I said, we've got a history of people who grew up in Michigan, but for the most part, my fam my mom's side of the family are all mostly from Green Bay, Wisconsin, actually, um, and the elders, like, her grandparents, which would be my greats, and her greats, or great-greats, they were the ones that lived in Michigan. And it was cool because they spoke Finnish fluently. And so she would have been kind of like, I guess, I can kind of relate to her, but not very well, um, seeing how they're both language barriers. But I was supposed to be um, a Latina that spoke Spanish um, as a secondary language, and I don't. I, I was just solo English. That's about, <laughs> that's about all I get out of the extended. I've been practicing Spanish with Jake, but... I need to find food because all I have is bread. Oh. <laughs> so she said that uh, it was really funny because train rides and bus rides were never dull. Um, a lot of her family would speak Finnish and it would just go right over her head. Just like they'd speak it fluently. And she said when she was a, a child, she used to understand at least like partial bits of what they were saying. Oh, thank you for the thing that you like the flooring. Oh, yeah. It is beautiful. I guess it's just this is the midpoint, I guess. <laughs> it is pretty. Now the that back it's wall is a lot bigger than the two side walls. So. so did you... You made the whole thing, huh? Yeah. That's so cool. A lot of people were worried that I wasn't going to add windows in my last world because I didn't get any sand to make windows, but oh. this world I spawned <laughs> in a desert. Oh, wow. So I could... Get the windows. Oh, look. 
Again, this floor may not be permanent. I may switch out some of the wood, mangrove wood, to like cherry wood, because I love the way cherry wood looks. And I may also change out uh, ceiling for jungle or acacia wood or something. I'm not entirely sure yet, and I may also change the ceiling out to match the floor. Again, don't know for sure. need to do is run because of that. I almost just died. <laughs>
screen for it to be, but again, my audio likes to jump around. <laughs> also, apparently, um, several of my videos have recently gotten copyrighted for audio. Oh, are you kidding me? Um, one of them was the, um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, take a drink. Um, one of them was the, uh, just push the button. That one got copyrighted on YouTube, and it got flagged here on Twitch. And the other one was a Minecraft video. Don't know what audio it got flagged for there, but it did. Alright, so, for you YouTube viewers, I am sorry, but, oh look, Emily. Dang. Another beehive. Which means that if I destroy the one over there, the bees will probably go here. Are they stuck? Like, what, yes, what is going on? they are stuck because of the mandibles. No? Poppy fuels? Hold on, let me destroy one and see what they're called. <laughs> when you said mandible, I tried not to laugh because a mandible is a person's lower jaw. Yes, these things. Mangrove. Pro mangrove That is so cool. Um, for those watching on YouTube, I am sorry, but this is where this episode ends. Those of you on Twitch, stick around. There's going to be more, like, right after, so. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed and are watching on Twitch, please drop a follow. Hit the bell button as well to be notified whenever I go live again. And consider jumping on over to the TARS-22 YouTube channel to see any videos in this season or series you may have missed. Or if you want to see series Season 1 or Season 2, they are also in playlists on my channel. For those of you watching on YouTube, please drop a like, drop a subscription as well, hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload anything, <laughs> and consider jumping on over to the TARS underscore 22 Twitch channel so you can see everything as it happens live, because not everything that I stream on Twitch goes up on YouTube. So, hi for <laughs> Luigi. You are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you YouTube followers later. Bye, guys.